Welcome back, everyone. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu rejecting a push led by the U.S. and France for a temporary ceasefire in Lebanon. Netanyahu arriving here in New York ahead of a speech at the U.N. that's scheduled for tomorrow. He says Israel will continue striking Hezbollah with, quote, full force until it achieves its aims. More Israeli airstrikes reported in Beirut in the wake of that statement. We're joined now by the former U.S. ambassador to Lebanon, Richard Jones. Ambassador, welcome to the show. Here's what Netanyahu said today. I want to just read it for our viewers. We are continuing to strike Hezbollah with full force. We will not stop until we achieve all our goals. First and foremost, returning the residents of the north safely to their homes, end quote. Ambassador, given what the prime minister is saying, how likely is a ground invasion in Lebanon, at least at this point? Well, I don't think we're quite at that point yet. Um, there was a ground invasion in 2006, and it didn't go that well for Israel. In fact, it turned out to be a tremendous millstone around the prime minister's neck when the Israeli IDF did not uh, clean out Hezbollah overnight. So it would be, in a way, uh, much worse than the uh, operation in, in Gaza has been in terms of Israeli casualties, because Hezbollah is well organized and they've got a lot of um, infrastructure. I'm sure they're still surviving military infrastructure in the South. And I think that it would be a, a extremely uh, bloody uh, experience for the for the Israeli defense forces. Ambassador, as you all know, the U.S. and its allies, including France, have been trying very hard to try to get a temporary ceasefire in Lebanon. They even put out a joint statement. It said this is in nobody's interest, neither the people of Israel nor the people of Lebanon. Thus, we call for an immediate 21-day ceasefire across the Lebanon-Israel border to provide space for diplomacy towards the conclusion of a diplomatic settlement. Ambassador, does the international community have any leverage here to bring Israel to the table, especially considering that Yahoo just said today, I'm not backing down? Well, of course, Israel's not the only party involved here. I mean, Hezbollah could announce acceptance of the ceasefire. Sure. Hamas could, could agree to a ceasefire. Uh, the problem is they're non-governments, and you don't when they're considered terrorist organizations in the West. And so we don't have the diplomatic ties with them, and we certainly don't have any pressure on them. The only uh, party that I'm aware that can put pressure on both those two is uh, Iran. And mm -hmm. nobody is talking to do, pretending to be um, uh, for peace, but in, uh, by putting pressure on Hamballa. Uh, it is, in fact, uh, letting the war continue. So uh, I think that's something that we should all, all bear in mind. We shouldn't keep the onus completely on Israel. Absolutely. Uh, I agree that we should continue to press Israel. Yeah. Let's talk about Hezbollah. Uh, but, uh, Would they welcome the chance to fight Israel on their home turf? You you think this is something they, they want? Uh, well, they'd rather have it on, on their home turf than, than, than them invading Israel. You right. know, they haven't done that. And... Uh, I think they, they realize that uh, um, uh, they would be able to, to inflict serious damage to the IDF, but the IDF will also in, inflict serious damage on, on uh, Hezbollah and on civilians in the area. So I don't think that they really would welcome it. One of the reasons you've, you're seeing such, such uh, resistance uh, to taking that next step uh, is uh, the previous wars that have been fought between uh, Israel and Lebanon. I was in Lebanon in 96 when there was a, a, the first of those wars, and I was in Israel in 2006 for the second one. And um, especially after the second one, uh, Nasrallah, the, the head of Hezbollah, made a promise to the, Israeli, to the Lebanese people, not the Israelis, the Lebanese people, that uh, he wouldn't do that again. So he doesn't want to be seen as violating uh, that that promise. Sure. Uh, but you know, by sort of saying, "Oh, we're we're in solidarity with the Palestinians," he also is jeopardizing some of his support in Lebanon yeah. because there are a lot of Lebanese that say, "Enough with the Palestinians already. We have our right. own problem." Thanks so much for watching. Just go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.